har me hearties, it's that time again. Shiver me timbers, splice the main cell, grab your paintbrush, it's time for that easy pirate again. Har har. Right, back at club and a bit Kings of War. So, um, player Ned, say hi Ned, and his rats, and uh, I've got the Brody out. So we're playing 2,375? Yes. And we're playing the raise scenario. So three tokens in the middle, two tokens either side. Stockpile. Stockpile, even. Stockpile. yeah. <laughs> what am I talking about? Yeah, stockpile. <laughs> Three in the middle, two we resigned. That's someone's week. Right, hit me, Ed. What you got? Uh, Swamp Cry, uh, Warlock, uh, Sharpness Terrors, Two Night Terrors, Scurd, uh, Shock Troops, <coughs> Little Tiny Vermintide Rats, three of the lovely little um, Gunny Thing teams. Weapon teams? That's the ones. Some Nightmares, the Tangle, Brute Enforcer. Spear Horde and a Warrior Regiment. Okay, and I said I got the League of Rodia, so we've got two cannons, yes, two cannons. <laughs> They're gonna be great. Cannons, half in cavalry, and we got the three uh, dogs of war. So these are the Razor, the pirates in the middle are the beasts, and the ones at the end are the shield. Uh, so there's three hordes of those. And we've got Halfing Knights, we've got the uh, Shire, um, then we've got a two commanders mounted and on foot, then we've got a Duke riding a winged Harales, and then the Komodo dragons with ogres are two mammoths. And then we got a horde of archers, halfling archers. So that's it. Game on. So turn on for the rats and this lot, the terrors and the wheels moved to here. Wizard got slightly left behind, but he's on it, he's following. Scud came over to here and lightning bolt is. <coughs> This cannon, one wound, didn't break it. The rest of Skaven line came through forward there, come forward there, come forward there. The Tangle tried to mine fog the standard bear, but failed. So, moving on to turn one for Rodia. Right then, so Rodia. So, the line moved like this. I almost made a complete foo bar and left my chaps in 16 of the chariots. That would have been a bad. Um, so this lot moved like this. And Lightning Bolt went into the charts, did nothing. These moved like this. Cannons both fire at charts, both missed. And over in this far end, these re repositioned like this, and the RVR moved like this. So moving on to turn two for the wet. So turn two, and what happens? Um, both cannons are gone. One got charged by this night turn. They don't got lightning bolted off by these two. Scud and the caster there. These moved to here. These moved on here. These two war machines came up and put four wounds on that mammoth. And then these just moved around like this. So moving on to turn two for the Rodia. So Rodia, turn two. So this stuff moved back and adjusted to face off against these guys. Over here, the mammoth rampage over here into the um, shock troops. Yes, yep. Um, put eight runes on them. Yep. Didn't break them. Um, I put some light, a lightning bolt on this gun. Uh, killed it with a first dice roll, but nothing was second. And the army standard charged off three hits, three wounds, and wavered at the other war machine. Over here, these move forward. The pirates picked up one of the tokens. These came forward here, and the halflings came forward here and put a shot in against the rats in the woods, but no damage. So, moving on to turn three for the rats. So, turn three for the rats, and the charges have come in. So, Terra put a couple of wounds on these. Irritatingly, Scud put six wounds on this chap and wavered him. 14 wounds on th this unit, but not broken. Over here, these had 12 wounds on them. 
from where we're shooting. Shooting there, shooting there, and shooting there. But didn't waver him. Couple of wounds put on this mammoth. And the other mammoth's dead, killed by the shot troops. So moving on to turn three for Rodia. So turn three for the Rodia. Managed five wounds on this guy, didn't break him. Uh, nothing here. Bees managed to put 10 wounds on these guys, but didn't break them. These charged the war machine on the hill and killed them. He didn't manage to hit the war machine this time. Um, these only managed six wounds on this chap, but didn't break them. He only managed three wounds on them and didn't break them. The only good thing for the Rodia this turn is they, uh, the, these now have two tokens and the halflings have one token. So, moving on to turn four for the rats. So, turn four for the rats. So, what happened here? A um, couple more wounds on the pigs, but didn't kill them. Five more wounds on this guy, but he wasn't even wavered this time. The razors were taken down by the combined charge of these two. Um, the beasts were taken down by shooting from these two. So, a standard barrel is wavered. Nothing happened to these. And these had six wounds upon them by the spear board. So, we're on to turn four for Rodia. Right, turn four for Rodia. So, the pig cavalry killed off the tower. Didn't manage to kill the wheels, but did waver them after charging them with the terrain. This guy had enough fighting with Scud and buggered off over here. He was wavered, so he just stood there. These killed off the Brute yeah. Enforcer. And Big Mammoth managed to waver the spear. Rats. So, over to turn five, four rats. So, Ratkin turn five. So, Scud charged the pigs, didn't kill him. These charged the shrine. He tried to charge the shrine, but didn't kill him because these were wavered. This little lot shot up the uh, shields. Got them up to eight wounds, but didn't kill them. The battle standard bear is dead. And up to 13 for the uh, mammoth. And that was it. So moving on to turn five for the Rodia. So turn five for the Rodia. Managed five wounds on Scud, but the picks. Only one wound on here, didn't even waver him. Killed him with first roll, didn't get him with second. Um, Flyboy went over and killed one of the war machines. These backed off. Mama flubbed his attacks really again on there, so they're still alive. And they just stayed there. So moving on to turn six for the rats. Right, turn six for the rats. So Scud's finished off the pigs, these finished off the shrine. These two finished off the uh, Baron. This finished off the Mammoth. So all I'm left with is these guys here. But they're holding three tokens. And the Archer's there. So moving into my six and possible final turn. Right, turn six for Rodia. So these stay where they were, as the point's moving them. These shot at these rats here. Put five more wounds on them, but didn't break them. So it all comes down to this one dice roll. If I roll one, two, three, the game ends and I win. If I roll a four, five, six, it's a turn seven. And as you can see, being completely surrounded, I'll concede straight away. And it'd be a win, it'd be a victory to the rats. So let's roll the dice. There's a turn seven, so the game goes to the rats. Because these would be killed, three tokens would be grabbed, so they'd be on three, four, five, to two. So it'd be a five, two to the rats. Cheers for now.